Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of go through a few of the things I would have done differently. First off, before you start assembling, please sand and stain everything. Do not do what I did. You'll end up having to like try and get in crevices and it took way longer than necessary. Stain it and sand it before you put it together. Definitely know what style you're going for. I kind of went back and forth on the style and ended up going with a different style than intended. So I had to go back to the store and get additional supplies. Don't do what I did. Go in, know what you're doing. It makes the process a lot easier. Next, don't put it together first. I guess those are really the only tips and tricks I have. And that's pretty much the gist of what I would do differently. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Sip on my coffee. Thanks so much. Okay guys, that's it. This is the final result. I ended up going with both vertical and horizontal lines on it. I really, really like how it turned out. Definitely gives it a pop. It's very eye-catching. These verticals were supposed to be on the left-hand side, but just putting it in the space of where it's going to go, I decided this is the final layout. It's gonna look so great in our half bath downstairs. Currently the door opens up and it's in the way and it's highly annoying. Very excited to get this guy in there. Just waiting on the hardware and once the hardware gets here, I'll have it up in no time. And that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And leave a comment. Let me know your favorite part, anything I should do different. If you plan on making a barn door, let me know too. I would love that. Make sure you guys are also following me on my other social media. It's Colleen G underscore DIYs. Post and tag whatever DIYs you guys do. I would love to see them. But let's wrap this up and I'll catch you guys in my next one.